Welcome back, Travel to Slutter Havoc here, and we are back playing some more Forever Stranded Lost Souls. And we got a little bit done. Let me show you. So after we got done with our awesome um, <laughs> mechanical power from the, the vertical uh, windmill or whatever, uh, got some stuff done in the process. I was trying to see, I've got this little thing connected over here. I was trying to see if this would power a kinetic dynamo. Uh, from immersive engineering and for all I can say is it, it doesn't um, I tried connecting it I know you can connect the regular like the immersive windmill to it so I thought hey maybe it kind of serves the same purpose spin circle whatever but it didn't seem to work so whatever oh and then yeah this over here I got organized so now you can see like I've got my immersive book on my immersive stuff I got a primal tech core or primal core thing on it I'm all organized I know where stuff is now and honestly, it makes me feel better. It really does. It just, it gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling inside that it's all uh, nice and pretty now. Now, um, you can see this little guy over here, the Oak Wind Chime. This is basically, uh, it was one of the quests um, under Better With Mods. And uh, basically what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to produce a redstone signal if there is bad weather. Because apparently bad weather can make these overpower the gearboxes and break them. So I made it, but I'm not sure if the nether even has storms, technically speaking. And then also the way this one is set up, um, the wind chimes have to hang. So if it's going to submit or emit a redstone signal, it would need to be where this block is, which means I would need to have the one above it and that would stop it. And so I'm just hoping that the nether doesn't storm. That's, that's kind of what I'm going with right now. Hopefully there's no storms and hopefully that that doesn't break or I'll just have to fix it, which I think is just a couple gears. It's not a big deal to fix, but you know. We're still hoping that it doesn't happen. Um, I did do a couple other things in the process. I was getting ready to make a mob farm, which um, you can kind of hear, but I've turned the hostile creatures down. Now, I didn't mean to actually create the mob farm, but I ended up setting it up because I need to start killing things. <clears throat> it's basically just a box right here. Um, I did get a drop of evil from killing a wither, uh, I don't know, about an hour ago or so. And I was testing to see, because I did another uh, call. Actually, I didn't even uh, claim it yet. So let me go to stuff and things. Um, the vector plates. I, the vector plates are new to me. I'm not really familiar with, I think it's evil craft or what is it? Dark utilities. I'm not really familiar with the vector plates, but they look, work basically just like um, uh, conveyor belts. And so I made a couple of those and it was like, you know, it moves mobs and allows them to spawn on them. So I was like, okay, cool. And I set them down and I was like, I didn't think it would work, but I was like, I clicked the drop of evil um, to see if it would actually spawn more than just that one single block that I was clicking on. And it did the whole area. And so I accidentally started the mob farm. Let me tell you how much of a pain it was to start that mob farm and then try to get right on the other side of this block and put this mob masher. And this was something new, right? And I was like, you know, I kind of really wish I would have recorded this stuff. Um, but I was just kind of getting stuff set up and then, you know, when you're really having fun and you're just rolling with stuff, yeah, that's kind of what happened. So, uh, mob mashers right here. It was really, really simple. A couple iron swords, these iron spikes, which is three swords and iron block, a couple emeralds, redstone block, super simple. It's powered by redstone, which is why that lever is back there, obviously. And basically it just grinds them up. Now, right now I've got nothing collecting them. Uh, mostly because I think I explained in the last episode, I've been trying to find a way to start collecting stuff. Um, actually, no, I didn't mention it. I was thinking about this. So I was trying to collect stuff using the absorption hopper, um, for all the items that come out of the mill over here. Um, but the problem is I need 16 gathering and I'm currently only at 11 gathering. And as you can see, I had 16 levels. I've been trying to gain some levels as you know as many as i can and that's still not quite enough and so every so often i've been running over here and just kind of putting a little peephole in unfortunately with this method is i keep getting nailed by uh the embers but as you can see yeah oh, see someone got out where you at where'd you go oh you're still in the hole i need you guys to get out of the way oh my gosh i'm getting wrecked right now i'm on fire this is a dead end. I don't want a dead end. But there we go. So I've got 22 levels. So every so often, I just kind of try to pop in this hole over here and pull... So you got thorns or something? I keep getting hit, but you're not hitting me. He must have thorns or something. 
These guys are kind of beastly now. And then these embers. They've been annoying me. That's why I really hate popping this hole open too. Because it, I can't get the dang thing shut when there's like a magma cube in there. Hey, die already. Oh my gosh, these embers. I mean, they don't really do a lot of damage. They're just really annoying. And this magma cube is really, really getting on my nerves. Okay. There, so we got a whole bunch of levels. <laughs> if I can get that to 16. If I can, I can put the absorption hopper down. Then it's not even an issue. Um, so we're at 13. We're at 15 now. I need four more levels and I can put the absorption hopper down. Okay. So we'll let that grind out for a minute while we talk about what reason I did the mob farm in the first place. There is a purpose to all this. And it's not just to destroy my armor. Um, so as we were, you know, as I was kind of looking around for what I wanted to do for today's episode, I was noticing an iron scythe and it's like, okay, um, that there, you know, well, let me, let me rephrase that. I am basically done with the nether. <laughs> I want to get out of the nether. And, uh, one of the very first, uh, achievements is getting the portal home. Overworld portal, nether, nether, uh, nether pedestals, I have entered. Um, blaze rods and ender pearls, super easy. And then an enchanted book, which we've already got quite a few of. These are super simple. They're just two diamonds with some stone and stone slabs. This is the guy right here that I need a little bit more for. I need, well, first of all, a beacon. So I need some nether stars, but I also need to make these ender casings, which is 16 ender pearls, 36 diamond, and then a block of back quartz. I need three of those. So basically I need 12 blocks of diamond. I need 12 blocks of ender pearls and then 12 black quartz. And I was like, what better way to do that than to start a mob farm? So psh, that's where the mob farm idea came from. And that's kind of where we're at. But it's just going to take a minute because, well, first of all, I just need to get some levels. That That's one reason it's going to take a minute. And uh, yeah, let's, so I'm trying to get everything put away as I'm talking. So while I'm waiting on the levels over there so I can set up the absorption hopper, um, I want to take a look at some of the other stuff. Ooh. And I also found out about rice bread. Um, rice bread can be eaten even if you're already like full. So I can take my absorption all the way up with it. I really like that. It's really nice. Um, but I was looking at some of the other things I want to kind of take a look at. Right now, I've been kind of hinting around at looking at some of the bellows, the filtered hopper, the turntable. But I haven't seen anything that I need to build right away that's going to make me need any of these things. Because um, like I was looking at the filtered hopper and its uses. And uh, for its uses, it's basically to make some Hellfire Dust, which I haven't found a need for. Because I, I don't need nether sludge. I don't need nether coal. Um, I don't need blasting oil. and I, you know I don't need a lot of these things. So that's basically it. Now there was... Um, something I do need to power the portal, however, and that is, um, yeah, that's it. Bitumen, 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 and you can make it, um, is it bitumen? No, maybe it wasn't bitumen. Maybe it was something else. It's this stuff. It is bitumen, uh, which we can sieve with, uh, sieve for with soul sand. And then we melt that stuff down to make the oil that's going to run that portal. So that was something I'm thinking about. But right now, until we actually get all the parts to at least make the beacon and kill our first wither, I, I'm figuring we'll kind of hold off on that. So I just want to kind of play around more with the, um, uh, oh no, better with mods. And just get some of these contraptions made. Um, because like... Eventually, I know we're going to need the crucible, and you're going to need the stoked crucible, which is where the hibachi comes into play, and the billows come into play. Um, but the turntable is something we're going to make. It's just, I kind of want to grind all these out real quick and get them all up and running, so then when I need the items, we have them, and we can get that all set up. So the first one I do want to make is the billows, because this is how you can stoke a fire, right? Right. So let's look up the bellows real quick. Like, all of these things, um, spring action billow. Shift click with an empty hand to rotate this block. Okay. Um, so not too difficult. The wood we can do easily now. Um, the leather we can do relatively easy now. Gears are super simple. And then tanned hides, we know how to do that. 
So this is gonna be a whole bunch of stuff done over here in the mill. So let me grab all the leather. I picked up quite a, well, not quite a bit, but some leather um, through the process of going over there to the drops and you know opening it up every now and then. So first thing I wanna do is start um, getting that leather going. And this absorption hopper would be really great right now because then we could put one right there too and it would just soak right into a chest. I did put a chest down over there, but then that's when I found out that I couldn't put down the absorption hopper yet. So um, maybe I can get enough levels right now. I think I needed, how many did I need to get to gathering? Uh, 10, I've got six. Let's see if we can get four more levels right now. Let's see. Got him, okay, cool. Perfect, <laughs> so I can put my two absorption hoppers down now. Um, so absorption hopper number one is going right here. Wait, I just did gathering, didn't I? Oh, that's 15. Why didn't it not level up? Gathering, there we go, oh, okay, there we go. Absorption hopper, cool. So you're put down right there. And if I remember correctly, uh, down is item. And so it should pump right into this box now, right? If I can get an angle on it. There we go, cool. And so now those items aren't gonna fall all over the place anymore. Now the other part I'm not too sure about is if it goes through blocks. And so that's what I wanna test out over here. So I need to go grab the other absorption hopper because if it starts collecting items, I'm gonna grab this guy and the other absorption hopper and then I can start kind of collecting all the items. I don't know if it has to have an open block. And if it does, I can put it in that hole, but let's see. Oh, hello. Um, so we're gonna put you, well, let's do this. Let's put you right here. Cause that's gonna block the hole and things still won't be able to get through, right? Right. Then, hey, except the embers. Embers are just always annoying. Oh, hey, there's another one of you. Can I kill you? I don't know if these die or not. They don't seem to. And they don't hurt me either, so it's not all that big of a deal. Um, so if I do... What direction am I facing right now? Hey, good grief. What direction am I facing right now? Right now, I am currently facing... Um, west. So I want the east side to be fluid. There we go. And I want, um, we'll say down to be items. And then we'll end up putting a chest right there. And where is, oh, the absorption hopper went in, or went into here. Okay, cool. So if I put you there, you should start collecting, right? Always on. Collect orbs. Ah, there we go. All right, cool. So now we, we should start getting a ton of levels. Wait, where's it all going? Oh, that's spraying orbs. I want to collect orbs. No, I don't want to collect orbs. How... Do I need to turn this thing's ability to... Oh, see, this is... This is we're trying to figure all this stuff out. I want this to collect orbs. I want this not to collect whatsoever. Uh, if I was facing west, this would be north. Uh, yeah, north. Fluid. Apparently it doesn't move fluid over. And it was collected a minute ago, right? I did see levels in there a minute ago, didn't I? I'm so confused right now. But at least I can start collecting items um, and start putting them in chest. A combustive cod. Oh, that's interesting. But this is going to give us a ton of leather, and I can start filtering some of this stuff out. But let me go make up another chest really quickly. And then that will start working efficiently. That's awesome. Um, I've been waiting on that for a while. So let me just grab a whole stack so I can make another one of these crates. I'm loving those crates, by the way. Thank you so much for telling me about them. I I can't even put into words how much I love them. 
Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like 24 of these I need. I forget. Um, oh, and you're going to the absorption option, so. Just gonna make a whole bunch, because I need them for the chests, as well as for the casing. And there we go. Okay, so this, actually, the absorption hopper takes up the whole, ch like, thing, so. Might break this block out or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure out how to do that in a minute. Let's come over here. I need you to make this. I've kind of gotten used to this recipe here. And then I need four chests. Like so. And one, two, three, four. You in the middle. And there we go. And this is going to go directly under right here, like so. And now you should start pumping in that chest. Oh yeah, really fast too. All right, cool. And what other item drops that I don't need? Cool, so it's it's making a lot. This is gonna fill up really quickly, so I'm probably gonna have to put like a trash can on this too and filter out to a trash can. But for right now, I mean, tons of leather. Um, yeah, no, I'm... I'm pleasantly surprised with this. I'm getting some ender pearls, which is really, really good. And then I do want to look at, am I still on that page? No. At mob um, beheading, right? So mob master upgrade, oh, that's smite. Beheading, sharpness. Beheading, yeah, that's beheading. So that's redstone with a couple helmets and a couple gold. That should be pretty easy. Although I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot of redstone. I need to figure out a way to start getting redstone quicker and easier. Because doing it with dust just ain't tickling my fancy. Um, I've got 12 dust. Let's see if we can get a couple redstone. Just so I can start adding beheading and hopefully start getting some wither heads. Um, as you can see, I was doing this earlier because I did need some redstone to make the mob masher. I didn't have a lot, so I needed a couple. But we can make a couple of these upgrades, I think. And then... Uh, okay, I'm not getting... I don't need sky stone. I need the big red one. Big red one, please. Or maybe we'll just make one <laughs> beheading upgrade. Uh, oh, glowstone, that's kind of useful, but that's not redstone, that's more skystone. This just isn't working for me. All right, well, we will go make one beheading upgrade and uh, let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna need 10 of you and then 10 iron, come on. And then what was it, four gold ingots or nuggets? There we go. And beheading. Oh, I gotta make the helmets, duh. Oh, recipe is different. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Uh, plates I can make easy, iron ring. That is a hammer on an iron strand. Well, now that's just silly. It's saying you make them from each other. Oh, there we go. Um, iron strand comes from, okay, iron plant, cool. We can do that. So let me grab our immersive engineering hammer. Okay. And it's going to give me eight of those. So I need two, four, six. I need eight. That's going to work perfectly. So one of you, please. Like, so where's the, where did my hammer go? There it is. And then I wonder if I can do it with shears. I wonder if shears works. Um, let's see, or do I need to do it with the actual, okay, I got to make the immersive engineering ones. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm okay by that. Um, so how do we make those shears? Probably like strings and stuff. Um, so I needed you, I needed a helmet. I need these, I need this, um, the iron clippers. So two iron plates and a pin and two sticks. A pin is a stick and a flint. I don't know. I should have some flint left. I do have one. And was it that? That's what I wanted. Nope. Oh, it's got to be the other ones. Okay. These guys right here. These guys craft into or they don't craft into. Um, 
I've, I've seen these before. So you, no, I want the recipe for this one. The pin, iron pin comes from those strands. Okay, that's, okay, how do I make the other pin then? <laughs> I'm like, if the pin comes from it, I need the pin to make it. There we go. Um, so it's flint and one of these sticks. These sticks come from, oh, my, my work blade and that wood. Okay. Uh, did I make a new work blade? Yeah. I was like, I just broke it not too long ago. So, so you should give me sticks. Isn't that what it just, okay. There they are. Okay, cool. Got you. And then you with the flight flint gives me the pin, two sticks. I've got two more plates. I'm going to need to make one, two, one, two, get my hammer. There we go. Come over here, making up this guy like that. Not with the iron there. There's that. And then take you and make a to it's gonna be there okay it's gotta be there and there we go then it's a hammer to make the curly q guy so how do i make that hammer oh whoa, whoa. come back i need the hammer hammer is four two and one okay one two three four um do i got the sticks on me i've got three two sticks on me i wonder if those sticks will work and one of these, Let's see, a lot of extra tools here. Thought I was past the point of making crazy tools, but apparently I'm not. Does it have to be normal sticks? Seriously? I tried to use the harder to get sticks and it says no. Wait, what? Wait a minute. I just looked at that recipe. Cordage. Twine. What? Hold on. What is it? Just give me the recipe for like one hammer. Okay, so that, oh, is it stone? Maybe it's actual stone. Interesting, that's the case. I should have some over here. Um, one, two, three, four. Is it actual stone? That'd be interesting. I would have assumed cobblestone would have been fine, but there we go. Apparently that works. All right, cool. And we need eight of these. Is it on top? Okay. Thank you. Now I've got to go get my leather because I have to make up some leather armor. And that shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Let's get our leather out of here. 23. Um, let me go grab some more out of here. Uh, bink, bink, and bink. No binking, no binking. What am I doing? There's not supposed to be binking. Nope, not you. You and you. So that should make up a whole bunch. Um, and it looks like I basically need uh, 10 pieces of leather, right? I didn't check to see if that's a recipe, but... <sighs> oh, that I can do. Three leather and two cordage. We can do that. That we can do. Um, tan pigment hide in that other cauldron with tannin. Nope. So this is just a uh, string. Two of those. Okay. That we can do. That's actually super simple. I don't even need the leather now. <laughs> um, where is my useful? Nope. Mob drops. That's where I've got string. So I need string so it was five per is that what the recipe was five of them per helmet so i'm going to need 20 of these i'm assuming unless the gold helmet is gold with the leather the iron helmet is iron with leather okay yeah so i'm going to need 20 of these so i'm going to need a little bit more string um do i have cotton seeds cotton seeds I think I've had caught I've been growing cotton before right grass seeds ancient seeds potato cactus I thought I was growing cotton D 
does this stuff work? That's a good question. Um, where's my hemp rope? Went. I'm so at a loss. I've got so much cactus now. Um, oh, there it is. Hemp, hemp fibers. Does those work for that stuff? They do not. Okay. What is there another way to get cotton? Let's see, I'm trying to beat the system here. Um, cotton, which apparently I can't do yet. See, okay, hemp fibers gives me one string. Okay. Well, I can make hemp fibers pretty quickly now. So let's just do this. Um, I'm kind of sad that that only makes one string, but hey, let's do what we got to do. And that should give me 16 more. That gives me 25, which is more than enough. Okay, cool. And then I've got the plates like so. Um, I needed three per piece, so I need 12. We're going to get this. It's going to happen right now. All right, so you into plates. Nope, not that hammer, this hammer. Oh my gosh, look how fast my inventory just filled up. I was doing so good staying organized. Um, okay, so you, I need four of you. One, two, two, three, four. Okay, and we'll pull you back in. And then I need two of you. One, It's this slot, it seems like, that makes stuff bounce up there. Okay, and then two of you. And I should have everything on me to make this guy now. There's my beheading. Okay, <clears throat> let's go try to put this. I don't know if I can reach it uh, from the angle I'm sitting at. Let's see. I did pop this block out, so I might be able to. Nope, that's a full block. That's a full block. I got a chance it like this. There we go. And put you in there. So beheading. We we'll should add to that. There we go. Are you getting anything? Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, you're starting to get stuff. Is it because you're full? No. Maybe you're transferred over and I just didn't know. I don't know. But this is going to be awesome because this is starting to be a ton of levels now um, let's see how many levels I'm actually getting 32 levels I'll take it let's dump all those in there for right now so <clears throat> we've got a way to get levels pretty quickly nice thing is I can't hear it I didn't see how fast that thing is filling up how fast is this filling up not horribly fast but it could start filling up over time um, so I'm definitely gonna have to filter out on that um, don't really need too much more leather, but let's see how much I've gotten. 60 scraps. Let's put these back in here like that. And we'll go put the rest of this material away. I just realized that I made way too many plates and stuff. Um, getting my inventory cleaned up. And yeah. So let's take a look at a couple of achievements real quick. I want to get the bellows done. Um, so I can start stoking fires and get to the pawbachi going. So let's look up the recipe for the bellows. <clears throat> it's not going to do much for today, but um, it will work for the future. So I know that's going to be four. So <clears throat> I do need to go grab that leather and then score it in here. So let's grab you. Bink, bink. No binking. I didn't bink. You guys did not hear me bink, right? That's total figment of your imagination. All right, cool. And we'll score a couple of those up. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and throw the leather into the mob drop area like so let's put some of these tools away that I'm not going to need right now um, tinker's hammer and useful stuff we'll put you away and you away that seems like useful stuff and building blocks you guys all go there I'm going to go ahead and put you in the building block area and now I think I'm feeling a little bit better. This is my junk drawer. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so other than the leather, it's just a lot of leather, wood gears, and more of those guys, which I just put some in here. Uh, so I've got some of those. And the gears, I don't know if I have any gears. Did I put them in here? This is where they would be, right? Unless I put them in here. Oh, yeah. I've got two right there. How many do you need? I just need one. 
Um, this is for those, which I can do with shears, which is the tanned after we do that. Okay, and I've got quite, quite a bit, but I got some left in here. I don't have any left in here. I'm gonna have to go grab some wood, get my cutting knife and get some of that built up real quick. And then we will get the billows done. Then we can get into doing the stoked crucible and all that stuff in next episode. So let's grab a couple of these like so. Right, like that. And, oh, what am I doing? There we go. I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna need. Um, it didn't seem like a lot of leather. And those straps basically all come from one, which is five of these. <clears throat> I think that should be more than enough. I think that's a safe amount right there. So let's go ahead and put this in the cauldron real quick. That Give me six leather at a minimum. And there's 14 of those. So yeah, so we'll have more than enough for right now to get that going. And what else did we need? Um, planks were good. We just need three. I need three pieces of leather and each one of these comes from, so three, four, five, six, seven, seven? Three, four, five, six, seven. I need a little bit more. I do need a little bit more that wood, okay. Oh, you know what? No, I've got some around here somewhere. Um, I don't remember where I put it, but I've got some. Uh, was it in the useless materials? No, I've got some around here somewhere. Useful materials, there they are. A ton of them. Um, I was, when you do the, the planks, the stripped planks that I just made um, in the saw, you get, which I think it's kind of funny that you've stripped the bark off of it, but I guess it treats it like a normal log when it goes in front of the saw. So then I still get more bark off of it, which I think is relatively humorous. And then, yeah, and so you get more of it. I think that's kind of funny. And then you get some sawdust out of the process too, so. Okay, let me just grab, oh, now you're all out. All right, cool, so we got nine more. <laughs> So yeah, even though I stripped all the bark off of it, I still get bark out of it. So, so that's going to take a second. Um, like I said, I need three and then yeah, seven of those. So that's just going to take a minute and we'll put you back real quick and that everything else looks good. The bill is will be done and then we can get going on the crucible next time. So I know what we're, what I'm basically finishing up right now. It's, we're not going to be able to really put to use quite yet, but it's kind of a necessary step. So What's the spring action billows? That's a billows with soul forge spring, a clock, and soul forge steel gear. Interesting. So this is just taking a while. I'm gonna wait till these are all finished up so we can build the billows and then we'll we'll call it a day. So we'll be right back. And like literally right after I walked away, I realized I didn't math very good again. I'm just waiting on one more of these. I went and cut up the leather strips to make them and then realized that I get two pieces of leather per and then two of those cuts into two, and so there's my two belts right there. So we've got the two belts, I've got the gear, the three leather, I'm just waiting on the third one right now, and then those planks or sidings or whatever. There we go. So let's go grab our gear, which is, where was it, in the useful stuff? Where was that gear at? I just saw it. Where did I put the gear at? Uh, primal? No. Does it, no. What, I, literally, guys, we were just looking at it, right? I saw the gears a second ago. Um, am I, oh, yeah, they are right there. Okay. Good grief. And three of these. And then we'll get the billows going. So, bingo, bango, billows. Here we go. Now, as far as I know, all you do is place this next to a hibachi, and then the fire turns, like, bright blue. So, you can... Use a redstone signal, right? That's what it is, it's a redstone signal. And it blows air. That's basically all I know about it. Um, I have a feeling the hibachi is a little bit too far. Let's look, because that should have just opened up. Um, the hibachi, okay, this is where we're gonna get into it next time then, cool. I'm gonna need more redstone and some heating elements and then this consecrated hellfire and that's gonna get made in the cauldron. Um, and we make the hellfire dust and okay. So yes, this, now we know 
now we know how to get going on this stuff. So next episode, we're going to go ahead and probably knock out the turntable and the filtered and um, I think it filtered hopper, I think it's called. Uh, let's take a look. Let's claim that real quick. Um, yeah, the filtered hopper, and then we're going to need the turntable to make the um, the the soul vial thing, and then we can get to the hibachi. So, although we didn't get much done today because I had already started that, we do now have an operating mob farm, which is cool. Um, and basically, un I'm not going to say unlimited, but quite a bit of uh, XP now to kind of start getting um, some more levels up. And... Energy laser relay. I have to look at what that is. I think I might have gotten that before. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I can start doing up some of my other levels, like attack. And defense, maybe. A little bit. Cool. So that'll keep doing its thing. I'll keep getting levels. And we will start getting leveled up really, really quickly. And all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, other than that, was you must reach level 5 before choosing a specialization. What? What did I just hit? L. Oh, I was trying to hit L for the quest because uh, I'm used to Sevtech. Oh. Oh, well, I just used all my levels. I was like, we'll have to get to level five and check that out. That'll be something to look at in the next episode. So, alrighty. Well, until next time, travelers. Y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.